All right, before I start the video, I think it needs to be said that this is actually the holiday video that I tried to make last year, but didn't finish in time. And since I haven't had the time to make a new video, I have instead decided to waste the time that I do have George Lucasing this up and just making it terrible. That's... Yep. Welcome to Force Perspective, the review show where sometimes we look at free games. <coughs> No reason in particular. Today we'll be taking a look at Fork Parker's Holiday Profit Hike, a game that delivers the bitter feeling of defeat for an unbeatable price. That price being f free, as I'm sure you have pieced together. Yep. Fork Parker, the CFO at Devolver Digital, apparently worked for Capcom at some point, because when he finds out he needs to increase the fourth quarter profits, he decides that the best course of action, obviously, is to risk his life climbing an abnormally cash-filled mountain. A mountain that not only has deadly spike pits, but also flying Christmas sweaters. What the f- Fork Parker's Holiday Profit Hike is a 2D platform where you collect money. But every time you die, you lose a set amount of that money, possibly even sending you into debt. And by possibly, I mean definitely, because once you get here, you're gonna die a lot. Because this place, yeah, this place, it sucks. Moving on to the movement. <laughs> you see, I told you I improved it. Anyways, besides simply walking, jumping, and wall jumping, which all work as you would expect, you can also make ropes by firing climbing pitons, and then latch onto them with your cane. And with the minor exception of latching onto the wrong cane from time to time, it works well. Plus, <laughs> just look at him. Yaw, he's potentially in mortal peril. Yeah. But the majesty of a man zipping down a rope on a walking cane aside, which is far more difficult than I'm actually willing to admit, I will say that you'll most likely want to use a controller like the game suggests. The keyboard doesn't control horribly, but with the precision you need, it makes it just that much more difficult. And as that statement would suggest, it's already pretty hard. Something I probably should have mentioned before, but I mean, come on. It's a 2D platformer with instant death spikes in a world where Super Meat Boy exists. You really should have expected this. Although it's not really at that level of difficulty, there's only about three points I had legitimate trouble getting past. The difficulty in other areas only really comes from trying to collect all the money, and even that's lessened by the plentiful checkpoints, which is good. You can choose the level of difficulty you're willing to deal with, but the spikes in difficulty when you do reach those few sections is frustrating. Which I suppose it's meant to be, but still. I like to complain. So anyways, the enemies, the enemies exist. Not much to say past that. Run into them and you die, but jump on them and then you bounce to the moon. Yay. Cane jumping. I don't actually have anything to say about it. It doesn't really serve a purpose, but how can you not mention this? I thought that the sight of a man merely hanging from a rope with a cane was great, but this! This right here? It's magical. But in all seriousness, all of the animations are... amusing. They're not all that impressive, but they have charm. They're fun. And that's something I'll say about the game as a whole. It's fun. Well, until you get to this part. <laughs> I cannot stress enough how close I was to rage quitting at this section. The game ends right after this, but... Oh boy. Not that I'm trying to label those areas as a real negative, the only true negatives that I would call attention to are that it's short, coming in at under an hour, and unless you're a speedrunner or a completionist, there isn't any replay value. But it is free, and not even I can complain about that. So, well, I mean... I'm not at that point yet, I guess. Honestly, if this was a relatively cheap title, I would still say it's worth a look. But because it's free, it's- Oh, oh, it's this part. Uh, no, I'm just gonna shut up and watch. <coughs> Are those black cats? <laughs> really? That's the part I decided to read. Okay. 
Huh? Oh, well, just use the old audio. Fork Parker's Holiday Profit Hike, besides having an annoyingly long name, is a 2D platform with a rope clinging mechanic and a significant amount of charm. Although there is very little replay value and some control issues when using the keyboard, overall I would say as long as you can deal with the difficulty, give this game a look. And also if you can't deal with the difficulty because it's free. And also because watching Fork Parker wall jump is amazing. <sighs> Is 90% really enough? I mean, it's just kind of- uh, yeah, Thanks for watching! Click over here to watch my last review. It has snow- <laughs> No, it doesn't! That one does. It's, uh, none of the rest of this makes any sense now. Regardless, given the time of year, I want to wish you all a very happy, nondescript holiday season. Christmas. Encounters the aforementioned Laser Raptor and a Fallout version of Xena Warrior Princess with a minigun riding a giant wolf. Yeah.